is up ladies and gentlemen this is jeff benjamin with i download blog i want to show you a new jailbreak tweak called lock glyph and what this does is it basically places the apple pay animation that happens when you use apple pay in the stores on your lock screen for when you unlock your device uh, so i'm going to show you right now obviously you will need a touch id enabled device like the iphone 5s or the iphone 6 or 6 plus in order to use lock glyph so I'm going to lock my device here. I've already set Touch ID to work with my index finger on my right hand. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press the home button once, and there is the glyph that you see, the little animation. Now all I do is just hold my finger on there. It'll verify with Touch ID, and you saw the animation, the little check mark there to indicate that, yes, that fingerprint is a valid fingerprint set up in Touch ID. Now what I'll do, just to test it out for you guys, is I'll use an invalid fingerprint. So I'll use my uh, middle finger here on my right side. And you can see it just continues to go try to validate. Little animation continues, but nothing happens. Nothing is unlocked because obviously this finger is not established with Touch ID. But as soon as I use my valid finger, you'll see it. Well, let's try it again. Cancel. All right. There's the valid finger and there's the check mark and there it unlocks. Now, one thing I noticed about Lock Glyph, it's a nice animation. It really does look good, but it adds, it seemingly adds more time to the actual unlock process. So it seems like there's like a second or so delay uh, when compared to using uh, Touch ID without Lock Glyph installed because of course the animation has to happen. Whereas with the without Lock Glyph, everything just works. It unlocks immediately almost. But now you get that animation, you have to get the check mark. So it adds a second, second and a half delay, which, you know, some users won't be able to live with. And some users don't, you know, they're just not going to want an animation on their screen if it makes them take an extra second to unlock their phone. So I don't know. It's going to be up to you whether or not you want this animation on your screen. If you can live with that extra time to unlock your device, then by all means, try out Lock Glyph. Now, once you install Lock Glyph on your device, you will see a section in the stock settings app for the tweak, but all it contains is just a simple kill switch. So you can turn that off just by tapping the switch there. And once you do, I'm gonna show you how much faster Touch ID is with that off. I'm just gonna unlock my device. You see it's almost instant with Lock Glyph off. And I'm gonna turn it back on here and show you again and notice the difference in time. You see, it adds at least a second, second and a half before it unlocks. So keep that in mind when you're using Lock Glyph. Uh, you may just want to use it just to show it off to your friends, but in real world usage, it's not very practical. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Lock Glyph. You can find it on the Big Boss repo free of charge. It's compatible with iOS 8 and up, and it does, of course, require Touch ID. It places the Apple Pay animation when you complete a payment uh, for Apple Pay on the lock screen and it makes it just look pretty cool. Uh, that's all there is to it. You can, of course, disable it from the settings app. Uh, Lock Glyph, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to try it out, head over to Cydia's Big Boss Repo, download it free, and let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.